Hello Scorpio, welcome to Truth Well Told Tarot. This is Andrea and I'm here to do your weekly tarot reading for the sign of Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus and it will be from the 8th to the 14th of March 2021. So let's do what we always do and pull your overarching energy or message for the week. So message for our lovely Scorpios please for the week. Message for Scorpio please. What does Scorpio need to hear the most? For the week, please, angels, spirits, guides, message for our lovely Scorpios. Thank you. What do we have for Scorpio? Okay, King of Wands. Generally, this is Leo for me as a reader. It can be Leo, Aries, Sagittarius, or it can be you, Scorpio. Male or female energy with the King of Wands. Okay. So what do we have for Scorpio, please? Angels, spirits, guides, message for our lovely Scorpios for the week. 8th to the 14th of March, 2021. Give me a moment, Scorpio. I'm just going to... Just one moment... we go <laughs> okay message for Scorpio please angels spirits guides message for our lovely Scorpios eighth to the 14th of March 2021 what does Scorpio need to hear discernment reading between the lines getting to the truth of the situation seeing things for what they are Okay, what do we have for Scorpio, please, angels? So I'm using the Tarot Grand Lux by Marchetti. We'll be using Karen Kay's Mermaid and Fairy cards. We will also be using the, obviously, Dorian Virtue Angel Answer cards. And then I'll be using Marchetti's Tarot Royale and the Gilded Tarot. Okay, I think that's everything. What do we have for Scorpio, please? Angels, thank you. Forgiveness. Some of you, forgiveness. Forgiveness is how we make peace with something, some a situation we don't carry toxic energy with us. So it's a form of release, forgiveness. I'm going to pull one more card. I feel you need one more card, Scorpio. Thank you. In the near future. forgiveness in the near future somebody asking for that okay Scorpio so I'm going to pull three cards and then we'll clarify go deeper into the message and it won't resonate with everybody so just take what resonates with you message for Scorpio please angels spirits guides message for our lovely Scorpios thank you message for Scorpio can we clarify can we pull the cards and then clarify thank you okay so what do we have for Scorpio 8th to the 14th of March 2021 thank you what do we have for Scorpio please so we have the Empress in the challenge position We have Six of Wands, Advice from Spirit, and we have the Four of Cups. Message for Scorpio, please. Angel Spirits Guides, message for Scorpio. Can we clarify the cards, go deeper into the message for Scorpio, please? 8th to the 14th of March 2021. One more shuffle. What do we have for Scorpio, please? Angel Spirits Guides. I do like the first card to fall out. 
message for Scorpio please Wow, I'll do a couple more shuffles. If it doesn't fall out, I will choose. Okay. So we have the Nine of Wands. The Sun. The Four of Cups we have with the Eight of Swords. And the Ace of Pentacles. King of Wands can be a person, male or female energy, uh, like I said could be a fire sign, can also be somebody who represents this person, the energy of what this person represents, confident, outgoing, go-getting, successful, uh, magnetic, you know, courageous, all of this kind of energy. Um, they understand how to bring growth and success into their world, you know, certainly that kind of energy. So the Kings can offer things to people you know they offer the wand of opportunity so for some of you that might resonate here some kind of opportunity coming your way I'm going to clarify this king of wands it's interesting I've got the ace of wands <laughs> I've got the ace of wands bottom of the deck so like I said I definitely feel like some kind of opportunity they're generally somebody who in business they're in a leadership role Uh, very magnetic, uh, entrepreneurial, visionary energies. So, yeah, I've got the Hierophant, which can represent traditional institutions. And again, I've got this page of wands. Now, this can represent marriage, committed relationships, which is interesting, Scorpio. Um, I mean, it is a, a sign of Taurus as well, which can be to do with, you know, very stability, security, safety, success. Um, I'm getting this energy here because the page of wands, again, someone offering this wand. So this can be good news to do with some kind of opportunity. If it feels for some of you there's potential with what this person is offering you some kind of potential the ones are all about growth power potential heart and soul energy but I feel for some of you, you're reading between the lines of a situation. Again, there's a feeling of, of looking through the clouds of confusion and getting to the truth of the matter, you know? Being discerning. And it's to do with forgiveness. If I feel someone's asking you to forgive them. And this is in the near future. I'm going to pull a clarifier for, the, for, for this forgiveness. Let's, let's pull a card for this forgiveness. Yeah, there was, uh, for some of you, there was a fallout. Uh, bad feeling, resentment, bitterness. I feel that there was bad feeling left between the two of you. It might well be that somebody won the argument, but, you know, it, it can sometimes be the energy. Uh, but the Five of Swords is a card of... It feels like there was bad feeling left between you and somebody else. And I'm definitely getting this energy of somebody. There's communication coming your way, a message, an opportunity that will bring growth. Hmm. And I guess this discernment is just really get to the truth of the situation, um, which I feel you will. The Empress is an opportunity to plant new seeds. 
But what's holding you back is the past journey of not letting the past journey go. The past burdens, the past challenges of, it feels to do with a relationship. There is a message with the Nine of Wands of you are one wand away from completion. So when everybody's gone home, you know, when the battle is finished, why is somebody still fighting the battle? And it's getting in the way of this empress, which represents new abundance, planting new seeds for growth, nurturing, healing energy, um, the birth of something new. I mean, that could be in terms of love, could be in terms of money career, but she also represents just allowing yourself to embrace abundance to not let the lack own you. I mean, there can be a feeling of lack in the Empress in the challenge position. And the lack comes from somebody still standing guard over the past and not letting the past go. This could be you, this could be somebody else. You know, this could be you coming in, offering something. It feels like an olive branch. I mean, this could be in terms of love, romance, relationships. It could be in friendship. It could be with family, you know, a colleague. I mean, call it what you will. But the message is from spirit. This is the message from spirit. Remember, there is an energy of restoration with the sun, of healing, of letting the obstacle of the past go and put it behind you and allow yourself to feel good, bring new growth, positivity, fun, love into your life. Um, and the Six of Wands is putting behind a difficult situation and claiming some kind of victory, putting a difficult situation behind you finally. Maybe what you've been holding on to from the past or what somebody's holding on to from the past. It feels like now is the time to let it go, to put a difficult situation behind you and embrace the positive energy of that sun. Good news, celebration, happiness, growth, love, um stepping into your light you know so it's such a lovely card of feel good energy feeling good once more healing rifts maybe for some of you and there is an energy here with the six of wands of the achievement is putting it behind you putting the challenge behind you that is the achievement claiming the victory by putting a challenge behind you Hmm. Because for some of you, there could be an offer here. And there's a kind of message from spirit. Consider this offer wisely. Look closely at this offer. Because, you know, the spirit is offering you this cup of joy. But this person, you sometimes see them crossed arms, crossed legs in this stagnating energy, the Four of Cups, where you're being told to give some serious thought to some kind of offer, opportunity, maybe somebody reaching out here. Again, there's an energy of good things. The, the opportunity of expansion here, don't let the negative, focusing on the negative, stop you from really considering this possibility because focusing on the negative only keeps you stuck stuck in a past journey or somebody stuck in a past journey you could be dealing with somebody like this you're the one who could be asking forgiveness you're the one who could be wanting to put something behind you and it might well be somebody is just finding it difficult to move beyond the negative because it blocks new the opportunity it is an opportunity to build something new. Um, the Ace of Pentacles is the first building block. It's connected to destiny to manifest a new path. Now, yes, this can be in terms of money career, um, money career financial opportunities, which is always very good. This can be to do with uh, moving, relocating. But I also feel for some of you, there is an opportunity to mend something here. This, the, the Ace of Pentacles ultimately is about manifestation, the beginnings of abundance. 
And again, the lack of abundance that's felt with the Empress in the challenge position, this is the first step, the first step on a new path to getting that abundance back. You know, the Ace of Pentacles is an abundant energy. So this is the first step on the road of abundance, getting that solid foundation beneath your feet once more. And it feels for some of you opening a new door. The message is a helping hand. This is a gift from the universe. Whatever is coming your way is a gift from the universe. So consider it wisely. Because for some of you, there is an opportunity here that you may just, or somebody may just, be focused on the negative. And it's really opening your mind now to see in past what this was. There is a need when the Five of Swords present itself. It's a very consuming energy and it's mentally consuming. It mentally puts blocks, you know, in the path of growth. Um, so that this is generally for me a card of see past the now. Uh, see past what you fell out over, where there was bad feeling. There is an opportunity here and it definitely feels for some of you to heal a rift and move past it. Interesting energy, Scorpio. Uh, interesting energy. It feels very powerful for somebody. Um, yeah, very, very beautiful. I mean, like I said, the Hierophant is a card of half faith. You're being guided here. It feels like the helping hand energy. It's also a card of stability and security. Getting stability, you see the four corners there. Getting stability back in a situation, being guided to get stability back. Um, but it can be to do with, relate, you know, traditional institutions, which, you know, can be ed education, um, career paths, um, traditional career paths, traditional, uh, you know, can be religion, can be to do with uh, marriage, you know, committed relationships. It feels for some of you, somebody want, is reaching out, offering, offering you something uh, that is bringing in the possibility of growth. A growth potential here, an opportunity, an opportunity to move past and heal a rift. Yeah, powerful reading. Let's pull you a final card. Yeah, I've got you see manifestation. And, you know, manifestation is taking an idea and making it real, also changing a negative to a positive, base metal to gold. And we have the gold at the end, the gift from the universe. So I definitely feel for some of you, consider the offer wisely. We have, be very honest and clear about what you wish to manifest in your life. Now write it down on paper, manifestation step one. Wow, powerful reading. I hope you enjoyed it, Scorpio. If you did, please do like, share and subscribe. I hope it's a wonderful week for you all and I will see you next time. Thank you.